Hi, I'm Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to self-evaluate your website. I really highly recommend getting another professional photographer to give you a non-biased portfolio or website review. But if you're not ready to make that investment yet, you can definitely um, do some things to self-evaluate your own website and really make a big difference. So here's what you'll learn in this video. The biggest mistakes many photographers make on their website that is scaring customers away. You don't want to do these things, so I'll show you what they are and how to avoid them. Next, the three questions to ask yourself that will immediately make a difference. You can ask yourself these questions and apply the answers right away. Then I'll give you one simple change that you can make that will help you to attract the right clients right away. All of these things together will help you to be able to evaluate and review your website and then you can implement the changes that you see that you need to make right away. So part one, are you making this mistake? I want you to open up your website and see if you can tell in the first five seconds what type of photography you do. Really, go ahead, look at it. Five seconds, what do you see? If you want to focus on weddings, for example, but your site shows babies, airplanes, dogs, all of these things in addition to a few wedding images, you're probably confusing your potential clients. And they may go to someone else who seems to have a more clear focus on what they're looking for. You, of course you can do different types of photography, but you want to choose one that you'll make the focus of your website. And I think you should pick the thing that you love doing the most and that people pay you well for. So for example, if you want to focus on weddings, your site should mostly show weddings right up front and then perhaps have links to the other things that you do. Part two, here's three questions to ask yourself. Question one, what is my focus? What do you want to be known for? Do you want to be known for being the best pet photographer in your area? then that's your focus. Your focus is on pets. Question two, is that focus immediately clear when people come to my website? So this is going back to that first thing you did. Do people know what your focus is from the moment they open your website so they know that you're what they're looking for? And number three, are there any images on my site that aren't my absolute best work? This is so important. It's so much better to have less images on your site and have every single picture on there be stunningly beautiful and amazing than to try to fill in your website with some extras that are just so-so. So take those out. Take out the ones that aren't the best. Part three, here's a quick fix. Did you know that the most often clicked on part of a website is the about section? So take some time to make this part of your website unique and interesting. Have it highlight your personality, highlight your talent, um, include more pictures or videos. Really make yourself stand out because people want to know who you are as a person, who you are as a photographer, and um, it's the most often thing that people click on when they go to your website. So changing that will make a big difference to who you attract. So thank you so much. I hope that helped. If you want more tips on how to improve your wedding photography business, you can check out photobizsecrets.com. The website's right there. And um, you'll be getting some free training videos if you go to that website. So thanks so much and have a great day.